All right, guys. So I'm gonna put this engine on my engine stand and um, wanted to kind of show you guys how I usually do that. Um, I'm not gonna remove the flex plate yet because the biggest torques I have is a T55 and uh, I need to order the right one. Um, I have a pretty decent set of torques, but I just don't have that right size. And I don't want to sit there and force it, whatever. I can just take the engine off the stand really quick later on, remove the flex plate, and then put it right back on. It's not that hard. So um, I did want to point out a few things to you guys. Okay. Um, word to the wise, do not use your bell housing bolts to put your engine on a engine stand. BMW bell housing bolt, bolts are not designed to use uh, or, or to, uh, to sustain the weight of the engine. Like for example, this bolt right here is, um, I believe this is actually a one-time use bolt, but if you pick it up and feel the weight of it, there's no way that this thing can hold the engine or the, can hold the weight of this engine, no way. These, Feel more substantial and I believe these are uh, these don't have to be replaced I'll do some research on that but they definitely won't go through all the way so here's what I did I went to Lowe's and uh, I bought these uh, these are from Lowe's home improvement okay and uh, check it out here's what I got so these are 12 millimeter right these are the uh, washers these are the pressure washers right and then these are the bolts they're m12 1.75 by 80 and when you put them through here they definitely give you enough okay and they bolt up here really well so I'm going to put my phone down and then I'll show you guys how I do this. All right, guys. So when you put your mount on your engine, again, this one's an N55, but pretty sure this will be the same as an N54. Um, you want to use the top points and obviously you want to use the, the two side points right there. And these do go over the dowels that are, that are in there. Oh, so that's cool. Um, one thing you want to look out for when you're tightening these up, you got to watch these bolts. You don't want to put any pressure on your pressure plate. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, you don't want to torque this inward because then you're, you're going to create bigger problems than what I already have or what you may already have. Um, I don't know if the engine will spin like this, to be quite frank with you. Uh, it may. It's going to be very close because some of these bolts are like really close to my uh, flex plate bolts. Again, this is just so that I can put it on a stand for now. I can maybe start removing some stuff. But later on, I am going to take the engine back off and take the, uh, the flex plate off once I get in the bolts that I need. Um, and somebody asked me about where... The loop was on the engine um, to hang your you know your rear chain from it's right above the starter that's where the starter bolts up and right above there there's like a loop and nothing goes in there other than obviously you know your chain and then I did do this kind of wonky little thing here where you know some of my chain hooks up to the tow bolt and then the rest goes into uh, my bracket for the alternator there um, that doesn't have a whole lot of on uh, pressure on it um, One thing that was weird when I bought my car it came with this tow hook and you would think that that's the one for my car I don't think so because it legitimately does not go all the way down um, again. This is an N55 I know N54s have an area machined right there mine does not so Somebody knows anything about it let me know. But yeah, um, another thing that I know that's really helpful, rather than getting this in here, it's a lot easier to put this on here. Um, you know, so 
hopefully uh, you guys kind of understand what I'm talking about. Basically, you need two hands, but you can kind of just, oh, there we go, you see that? So rather than putting your engine on your stand, it's a lot easier to just um, kind of do that. And, you know, I'm using one foot. I don't know, I've got to fight it a little bit, but anyhow, that's how that works. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this little video. Feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you.